So this weekend, I participated in a group art show for the art guild that I joined this year, and I wanted to share five steps that I learned to make the show successful. So let's get to it. Make sure your paintings are completely dry and well varnished well before the show. You want them to uh, be able to stand up to any transportation and hanging over the over time. Make sure your paintings are wired for the hanging. Each piece had to be framed or edged properly. That means wrapping the paint around the edge of the stretched canvases. So the next step is pricing your work and that can take a lot of time. There's so many rubrics out there to help you figure out what your painting is worth. But what worked for me was multiplying the length times the width, getting a square inch. And then you multiply that by one if you're a beginner and multiply that number by two if you're a professional and you've sold your work. For in other words, an eight by 10 is 80 square inches. For a beginner, you could sell it for $80. For a professional, start at 160. Don't undervalue your work. And the last step about uh, having a successful art show is make yourself available to the customers who come in. They may want to get to know you as an artist or answer questions. And I just find it's a, a great way to connect with people who are actually investing in you as well as the piece of art that they're buying. So I received honorable mention for this pastel portrait of this cat and sold the piece. So I was very happy about the show in general. I also sold a number of my greeting cards. What I do is I take photographs of each of my pieces of artwork, whether it be watercolor, pastel pencil or oil, and then I put it in a greeting card form. People love them. So I hope if you have the opportunity to show your work, you do that because uh, the feedback you get from people and other artists is really worth every minute. Uh, out of the 13 paintings and two pastel drawings that I submitted, I got a, uh, an award for one and sold some, so I considered it a success. I uh, had a lot of fun talking with the other artists and gleaning information. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And feel free to leave comments and questions below. You can always follow me on Instagram and my website. And I hope that your creative endeavors just bring you a lot of joy to yourself and to others. Happy painting.